Hi everyone, I'm Krista, a teacher of crystal healing classes as well as holistic healer. And welcome to my video talking about how to revive your crystals if you feel its healing energies are not strong enough. And this is a very important topic that I would like to talk about. So sometimes when we work with crystals for crystal healing, sometimes we can feel a lot of beautiful healing benefit, lots of positive shifts and changes will occur. We heal, we feel better, that's great. And sometimes when we work with crystals, we might find that for some reason, the healing energy of the crystal doesn't feel very strong. It feels kind of weaker or we received a bit of healing benefit, but not as much healing benefit that we could have. And why is that? So there are some reasons for that. So when you work with crystals for healing, if you're doing a lot of healing work with a crystal, so let's say I was working with this crystal, doing lots of healing work with it. Let's say I was working with this crystal every day. Now, just like you, if you were to work seven days in a row and you were working 18 hour days and uh, not having a rest, okay, over time, what's going to happen? You're going to start to feel tired, right? So crystals are the same. When a crystal is doing a lot of healing work day after day, or you're doing a lot of it, a deep healing work with the crystal, the crystal over time can also become tired and fatigued. And when it becomes tired and fatigued, then it's like a battery. The healing energy diminishes. Okay, and uh, if you don't recharge the crystal to charge up its healing energy to its fullest, brightest potential, then when you are working with a tired crystal or a fatigued crystal, you're going to get some healing benefit, but not as much as you would get if the healing energy of the crystal was really bright, high and vibrant. So what do you do? if your crystals are tired and fatigued and uh, are getting a little bit worn out. Okay, so here's what you do. Step number one, the first step, you need to cleanse the crystal. So I have another video on how to cleanse crystals and gemstones that are in depth. So I'll leave the link to that video in the comments below. So that would be the first step, cleanse your crystals. And there are proper ways to cleanse crystals and ways that are not good for cleansing your crystals. So please watch my video on that. I'll leave the link in the comments below. So once the crystal is cleansed, then what you can do to keep its healing energy really high, bright and vibrant is to place the crystal in the sunshine. And the sun energy, the healing power of the sun will help to energize, recharge the crystal. Okay, so a word about placing them in the sunlight. Now, if you have a really clear quartz crystal that is water clear, like this one, is a water clear. It has absolutely no inclusions. Okay. This one here has some inclusions in the bottom. It's clear in the top, but inclusions in the bottom. If you put the crystal in direct sunlight like that, yes, it will receive the healing benefit of the sun, help to energize it and recharge it. But the healing energy of the direct sunlight could go through it. Uh, it's like a magnifying glass uh, type of situation where it could start a fire. So just be very careful with that, especially if you have really a lot of clarity in the crystal. So instead, what you can do is place it in the indirect sunlight. And when you place the crystal in indirect sunlight, it still receives the healing benefit of the sun and the sun will energize that crystal, helping it to be really strong and bright. However, when you are working with other crystals, such as rose quartz or amethyst, okay, or also citrine, all of those crystals can fade in sunlight. So you don't want to put them in direct sunlight for a prolonged period of time. Even just a couple of minutes can be enough to give it a boost of energy. You don't have to leave it for hours. Even just a few minutes is good. Or if you're concerned about those types of crystals fading their energy, so fading the color of amethyst, rose quartz, or citrine, then put them in indirect sunlight. So that is a, a way that you can counteract that so that you have the healing color of the crystal gemstone really strong and bright. Okay, the second method to revive your tired and fatigued crystals is to put them outside in the moonlight. So they can be outside on a balcony uh, or, or also if you have a windowsill which catches the beautiful moonlight, place them in the windowsill. 
I like to place my crystals on my balcony. Uh, however, if you do place them outside, if you have a yard or balcony, please know that sometimes squirrels, uh, even rats, raccoons, <laughs> they can go for the crystals and take them because they will be attracted to them. So uh, you can also put them inside, okay, on a windowsill is fine. The moon energy, the sun energy will go through the window, no problem, and charge up the crystals. So the moon energy nourishes the crystal, it feeds the crystal, it helps to boost the healing charge of the crystal. So it's really strong, bright, and vibrant. So every full moon, I love to put my crystals in in the windowsill to catch the moonlight to feed and nourish the crystals so that their healing vibration is really strong high and vibrant I will also place my crystals in the windowsill to catch some indirect sunlight. Even if it's a cloudy day, the sun energy is still moving through the clouds. Even if it's a cloudy day, cloudy evening, the moon energy is still flowing through the clouds and into the crystals. So you can still work with that even if it's a cloudy day and your crystal is fatigued but you want to give it some boost of energy so you can place the crystal in the sunlight or the moonlight, no problem. So the crystal will absorb those beautiful sun and lunar energies. So that is the best way to recharge your crystals and just give them a rest. Sometimes they do need to rest for a while. And uh, just like you, if you're working long hours, many days in a row without a day off or a break, okay, you need to have a little rest yourself. So uh, also, if you do a lot of work with one specific crystal, so for instance, if I'm working a lot with amethyst, one thing to consider is, uh, you know, for myself, I I have two pieces of amethyst that if I'm doing a lot of intense healing work with this, if this crystal is getting a little bit fatigued, I'll let it rest so that it can regain energy, leave it in the moonlight, just give it a rest, and I'll work with a second piece of amethyst to keep going if I want to build up healing momentum there and I need to keep working with that crystal, let's say over a period of time, if I'm going to work with it every day, let's say for two weeks, three weeks, then I'll have two pieces of amethyst. Let this one rest. Once this one is rested, I'll be working with the other one and then exchange them out, okay, so that I always have a crystal to work with when I need it. So those are really beautiful ways that you can boost up the healing power of the stones. So I would like to hear from you. Uh, please, in the comments below, please write your comments of how you find your crystals. Do you find that they get tired and fatigued? One other way that you can notice when they get fatigued is when you look at the crystal and you see that it's not shiny or sparkly or holding as much light as it once did. It looks a little bit dull. Mm. Then, you know, maybe this is getting a little bit tired. So give it a rest, cleanse it, give it a rest, boost its energy in the sunlight, moonlight, and see how that goes. So I would love to hear from you. Do some of your crystals not look as sparkly or as vibrant in color as they used to? Are your crystals getting fatigued or tired? And, uh, how are they after you try these methods to revive them and boost up their healing energies? I would love to hear your experiences. So please leave your comments uh, below. It will be nice to open up a discussion for that. I would love to hear from you. And which crystals do you like to use most often? I would love to hear about that as well. So please leave your comments there. All right, so I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to go deeper into the beautiful world of crystal healing, I do offer live and interactive online healing classes for crystals, and I run those on a regular basis. So you can check out my crystal class schedule on my websites, learncrystalhealing.com or crystalin.ca. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks again, and may you enjoy this beautiful day. Lots of love, light, and blessings to you, and namaste.